Hey Badgers, today we're going to be talking about Tutor.com, what it is and how it can help you succeed as a student while you're here at Snow College. Tutor.com, as the name implies, is a tutoring service which is directly integrated into Canvas. All Snow College students have access to it. It allows you to connect with a tutor so that you can get help in academics and in life skills in general. To begin accessing Tutor.com, we're going to start at the Snow College homepage, found at the web domain snow.edu. Once we're there, we're going to go to the menu in the top right and log into our Canvas. Logging into your Canvas will bring up your dashboard, which depending on your view may already show some of your courses. If not, then go ahead and click on the Courses tab on the left and get a look at whichever course you would like tutoring in. In this demonstration, I'm going to use my Math 1050 course. Regardless of the course or subject, you can access Tutor.com by clicking on the relevant link here in the left-hand column. As we can see, it's right here, Tutor.com 24-7 online tutoring. Now here's something important to note. If, for example, you want specific tutoring in math, then you should access the Tutor.com link through your math course, not through any other subject course. The reason for this is that the instructor for that course will be notified you clicked on their Tutor.com link. So you would want your math instructor to know that you clicked on their Tutor.com link to get math tutoring. This is particularly important if you have a professor who requires you to go through Tutor.com to complete an assignment. By accessing Tutor.com through their course link, you'll get credit. When we click on the Tutor.com link, we're taken to the Tutor.com website as it's integrated with Snow College Canvas. There are four main tabs at the top which act as different resources to help you. I'm just going to give a brief overview of each of those and let you go through the rest on your own. Let's start off by talking about the Connect tab. This is going to help you connect with a tutor immediately. The options to go through are pretty intuitive. You can choose English or Spanish, you can choose your specific subject, and you can also choose a sub-subject within that specific subject. It's worth noting that while Tutor.com is a great resource for strictly academic help, you can get assistance in other facets such as career, life skills, and study skills. Once you've got your topic and subject selected, you can fill out the rest of the prompts and click connect now in order to get connected with your tutor. The schedule tab allows you to schedule a specific time where you can meet with a specific tutor. Through the scheduling tab, I can specify that I am looking for a chemistry tutor who has the highest number of reviews. Through this, I can take a look at which tutor may best suit my needs. If you click on schedule, you can be taken to their calendar where you can also view their profile. You can fill out all the relevant prompts here and schedule a session with your tutor. Next, we're going to move on to submitting papers for review. Through the Submit tab, you can send in a document which can be reviewed within 12 hours. All the prompts are pretty self-explanatory, and I have heard that some professors do prefer that if you'd like to get feedback on a paper, you do that person-to-person -person using the Connect tab. However, this is a nice, simple solution if you don't want to directly interact with another human being, I suppose. The final tab is the Take a Practice Quiz tab. Here you can select a topic and a specific quiz topic and take a quiz to help you prepare for an essay, a midterm, in-class quiz, what have you. <laughs> and the last thing to mention is this My Account drop-down link right here at the top right. Clicking on that will open up My Sessions, which is going to keep track of any future, current, or previous sessions you have on your account your favorite tutors if you've favorited any, so you can easily reschedule with them, for example, or write a review. And lastly, your My Locker, which is going to be a place where you can store documents. And that is pretty much everything you need to know about using Tutor.com as a student. Sure hope you found it helpful. Before I end this video, I'm going to do a demonstration of a connecting with a tutor. I'm going to be using the subject Life Skills, Motivation, and Goals. If you're interested in watching that, you can keep watching. Otherwise, appreciate you watching up to this point. Okay, so I actually changed my subject. I swapped it over to time management, and this is my question. In building my workload for the next semester, I'm not sure what number of hours spent studying slash working per week is going to be sustainable. What insights do you have for students to have a healthy work-school-life balance? All right, well, I guess there's nothing else to do other than click connect now. Okay, so we are brought up to this, uh, this whiteboard. Looks like we've got some tools on the side. And as we can see, here is my question prompt. And Maria is my tutor, and she's typing out her response. Do you want to do a voice session or a chat session? Could we do a voice session? I'll transfer you to someone that can better help you with audio. OK, so now I believe we've been transferred to Cynthia F. Hello. Hi, Cynthia. Connecting voice now. 
Okay, I'm gonna try click on audio options and we'll use a web browser. I'll click allow. You are now being connected to your conference. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Hi, Cynthia, how are you doing? Oh, good, good. So is it okay if I include um, just a brief portion of this, if I record this and include that in that video, is that okay? Sure, that's fine. Okay, great. Right, right. So, so first of all, I, I like the fact that you're thinking ahead. You know, I know people are pushed, you know, college should be a four-year degree, get it done in four years and move on. Some, for some majors, that's a little bit stressful to, to fit it into that four-year full-time package, you know, and still have a life and still have fun and still, you know, have those family commitments and, and other things. Yeah, and part of that, um, going into the, you know, you, you ideally want to graduate as soon as possible and whatnot. Um, I, I will say that I, I did just recently turn 23 and I have not done much schooling. Um, as you can see, I'm like just getting my second semester's worth of credits right here. Um, so I definitely feel a bit behind in that sense. So, you know, it almost kind of feels like more urgent to try and graduate sooner. Um, but that also just kind of feels more stressful. You know, so it just, it kind of depends upon what your path wants to be. And really, again, having that, really, really enjoying your time, especially in your 20s. Uh, you know, yes, you want to be working towards those goals and, and whatever um, job you want to, want to get into, but you also want to treasure those years and, and make sure that those are good years for you, right? That's a really good point. Okay, so that was connecting with a tutor and going through a little one-on-one um, -on -one audio conversation. Really neat. If I go to my account and click on my sessions, yes, we can see Cynthia right here. And um, we can rate her, we can take a look at her profile, add her to favorites. And yeah, all of her information is right there. So that was everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this guide is gonna help you use tutor.com in the future. I think it's a great resource and something you should definitely take advantage of, especially considering how expensive private tutors can be. The fact that we have this as an integrated resource with Snow College and with Canvas is just excellent. So thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.